In today's video, I'm going to be talking about mommy burnout. So as moms, we all go through those times where we just feel burnt out, flat out exhausted, and we just are just making it through the day, trying to survive till bedtime. And so today I just want to talk with you about some ways that we can confront mommy burnout and how we can really feel refreshed. So there are lots of things that we can do as moms to feel um, you know, encouraged or refreshed or pampered, but ultimately what it boils down to for me is spiritual. And so, you know, I can do lots of fun, um, you know, shopping or pampering, those type of things that I enjoy, but ultimately I'm not going to feel truly refreshed unless I'm like coming to God and sharing with him, you know, what I'm feeling and and why I'm feeling so tired and weary and just pouring out my heart to him, that's where I'm gonna find that true um, refreshment and that peace that comes from him. And so I think that's most important for us to keep in mind, especially as Christian women, that you know the world tells us all these things that we can do to feel refreshed, but ultimately, you know, it needs to start in the spirit, in your soul. You need to find refreshment there first. And then all these other things are just kind of supplemental or extras. So the first thing that I have found to be really beneficial when I'm feeling burnt out and tired is to get out my journal. I have just a basic journal with that has lined paper and I just get out my journal and I start journaling out a prayer. And basically I'm just talking to God like in a long letter and just telling him, you know, Lord, you know, I'm thanking him for things, but I'm also saying, hey, I'm going through this right now and I'm dealing with this and I'm feeling like this and this and just kind of like just sharing with him everything that's on my heart and on my mind and just kind of hashing it all out and just laying it at his feet. And it's amazing that while you're doing that throughout that process, sometimes God will just bring to mind different scriptures um, that you maybe haven't thought about in a while that really address what you're going through. And usually I find that after I've finished a long <laughs> written out prayer, I feel so much better because God understands me. He created me. He knows me more than anyone else in the whole world. And when I have had that time with him of just pouring myself out before him, I know that he gets it. He gets me. And, um, I find comfort in that because I know that he understands that he loves me and that he's there to um, to meet me where I'm at. Another important thing to keep in mind is that our true character is going to be revealed in our everyday life. Um, we're never going to have an ideal life. We're never going to have perfect children and a clean house and, and perfect makeup and hair every day. It's just not going to happen. And so we need to remember that the everydayness of life is where our true character is revealed. And, you know, if we're struggling day in and day out with the same, you know, character problems or attitude problems, those are the things that we need to to bring before God and ask him to help us with. Because if you're waiting for life to get perfect or easy, it's probably never going to happen. Instead of focusing and nitpicking on all the things in our lives that are going wrong or bad or aren't like we want or aren't ideal or this, this, and this is wrong, instead we just need to try to embrace the crazy mess that we have and just say, hey, here's what I have. This is what God has given me to work with and Lord, I need your help. Um, help me to embrace my life instead of always running from it or um, fighting against it to just kind of, you know, get creative and find solutions to problems and just pray that he'll equip you for the life that you've been given. Also, it's important for us to keep in mind the bigger picture of life. Sometimes it feels exhausting when you're in the trenches of motherhood in those early years where everything is like, you know, you're starting from ground zero and you're putting up so much time and effort into training your kids, preparing those meals, cleaning your home. You know, there's so much work involved and I know how exhausting that feels. But it's important to remember that every season of life is going to have its sweet moments and its difficult moments. And just keep in mind that those challenging circumstances probably won't last forever, even though it feels like it sometimes. Um, but just keep in mind the bigger picture of what our goals are as moms, the children that we're trying to raise, what we're trying to teach our kids, and to remember that life is always changing and that we need to savor the sweet and just pray for grace and wisdom when things get really challenging. 
Another thing that I have found to be extremely helpful is to have some really good mom friends. So in my life, I have several different like mommy groups or um, areas where I try to connect with other godly women. I have several mommy friends that have kids that are the same age as my kids and we like to have play dates. That can be a great time to just catch up with a friend and just pray for each other and share what you're struggling with and just really have that community that you need. If your husband is home on the weekend, you can see if he's willing to hang out with the kiddos while you go out with a mom friend and just kind of have like a mom date with one of your best friends. Just enjoy a nice meal with your friend and really catch up. Have nice, long, complete, uninterrupted conversations where you can really dig deep and just share what's really going on in your life. There are a lot of different mom support groups available as well that are Christian based. One is MOPS, Moms of Preschoolers, and the one at our church is called MEMS, Moms Encouraging Moms. And this can be great, a way to meet other moms that are in your same season of life um, or meeting other moms that maybe are more seasoned moms who have a lot of wisdom to offer. And I think they offer childcare as well. Those can be great opportunities to make new mom friends and also find new friends for your kids to play with as well. All right, these last few things are just some extra stuff that I enjoy doing when I am feeling a little burnt out. So one is having a like a pampering night where I can soak in a nice tub with a bath bomb, have to maybe put a sermon on and, or listen to some music. You know, I can do my nails, do my hair nice. It helps me feel so relaxed and a little bit more pretty because most days I'm just lounging around the house in you know, pajamas and a robe. And so that extra bit of self-care can feel really refreshing. I also recommend that you make some time each day to do something that you really enjoy, whether that be reading or sewing, maybe you enjoy art or writing. Just see if you can squeeze in 20 to 30 minutes of just some time that's just doing something that you really like. Whether that's when your kids are napping or maybe it's in the nighttime after everyone's asleep, just doing something that you enjoy to help remind you that you are still a person and that you have your own interests and things that you enjoy and just feeling like you can have some time where you're not being mom, but you're just being yourself and really enjoying um, the things that are unique about you. The last thing that I wanted to mention is really just look at your life and see if there's any areas where you can cut back and kind of eliminate things that might be causing you extra stress. Maybe your kids have too many extracurricular activities. Maybe you're over committing to things um, at your church or in your community and you maybe you should say no to some things. Just be really intentional with your time and make sure that you're not adding to your stress by putting too many things on your calendar. So those are my tips for helping with mommy burnout. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. How do you deal with mommy burnout? What are some ways that you feel refreshed and um, just re-energized and ready to tackle the next day as a mom? If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see my future videos. Thank you as always for watching and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.